Hey everybody, Miss Dietrich here. We're taking a look at a question that's a little tricky, so I thought I'd show you some strategies for how to figure it out. It says, triangle DEF is plotted inside a rectangle on a coordinate plane below, such that D is 9, negative 1, E, 3, comma 3, and F, 5, comma, negative 4. So that's all been plotted, but if they didn't plot it for you, do you realize that you would have to plot that and form the triangle? So what they want to know is they want to know what is the area in square units of this triangle. And the problem that we have is none of the lines, these blue, um, these cobalt blue lines do not fall on the coordinate grid lines. When that happens, then you have to use a different strategy to find the area of the thing because we don't know how long this thing is. So what's the strategy that we're gonna use? We're gonna put it inside a rectangle. So let me show you how, what that would look like. All right, so notice that each vertex touches a side of the rectangle, and you would have to, if you were doing this on paper and pencil, you would have to draw that rectangle around it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the area of all the little triangles that are formed outside of the blue triangle. So we have this yellow triangle, we have this purple triangle right here, and we have this green triangle right here. We'll find the area, again, we're gonna find the area of the red rectangle first, and then we'll find the area of all the separate ones. So let me move the triangles back out of the way so we can see what's going on. And let's just focus on the red rectangle. So pretend that this blue triangle was not in there. What would we do to find the area of that red rectangle? We would use the formula area equals base times height. Let's count the base. The base is one, two, three, four, five, six units long. And I'm hoping that you can't hear there's somebody chopping wood up the street from me and I'm hoping that that sound isn't coming through on the audio. All right, the height of this thing, we can use this line right here is the height. It is perpendicular to the base. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so if we find the area of the rectangle, we get 42. All right, let's keep that number handy. All right, and now let's focus on the triangles that we can find the areas of. So how about we start with this yellow triangle, this piece right here, that's not part of the area of the triangle. So if we find that and then subtract it out from the 42 square units that we have, then that's gonna be step one to getting the answer. All right, so let's go ahead and proceed with that. So for the yellow triangle, let's write down the formula for a triangle. It's half of the base times height. And the base on this thing, remember the base and the height have to be perpendicular to each other. So you're looking for that 90 degree angle, which these two lines form. If we use this as the base, that's one, two going that way. Let's substitute that in underneath the B. And the height is right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's not an accident that it's the same thing as this. All right, so if we take half of two and then multiply it by seven, or we can just do two times seven, which is 14 and take half of that. Either way, we're gonna get the answer. So if we do it this way, we would do one times seven and end up getting seven square units for the yellow triangle. All right, so I'm just gonna put a seven there so we keep track. All right, now what about this piece right here that I have highlighted in green? That's also a triangle that we can find the area of and we can subtract that out from the area of the red rectangle. So let's proceed with that. The green triangle, we'll still use the formula area equals half of the base times the height, half, Remember, the base and the height have to be perpendicular to each other, so that means we can use this line, and this line is our base and height. We already know that this is six going across, but let's just double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, we'll call that the base. And this line right here we'll call the height. One, two, three, four. All right, so at this point, how about we take half of six, Half of six is easy enough to do in your head. We get the three, and three times four would be 12. So that's 12 square units. Let's put that in there. 
That's this shape. All right, and now finally, how about this piece right here? This piece, which I have highlighted in purple. We'll use the purple pen. So that's also a triangle. The base on this thing, remember the base and the height have to be perpendicular to each other. So we're looking for that 90 degree angle, which this is, this is a 90 degree angle. So we can use this and this is our base and height. Let's call this the base. One, two, three, four. And for the height, one, two, three. Half of four is two. And two times three is six. All right, so the area of the purple triangle is six. All right, let's go back to our original red rectangle. We said that the area of that was 42. So the next step is you're gonna add the seven, the 12, and the six. And you're gonna put that number, how about we put it in this box right here, whatever that sum is. So again, you're adding this, plus this, plus this, add it carefully, because that's going to be the area that we're subtracting out from this 42 square unit rectangle. And what we'll have left, what you're gonna put in this blue box, will be the area of the inside triangle. So let me say that again, in case you're confused. The next step for you is to add this, plus this, plus this, put it in this box, and you're subtracting that sum from the area of the rectangle, which is 42. So if you're not sure where the 42 came from, let's move all these things out of the way so you can see that's this red rectangle right here. We found the area of that and it's 42. The triangle is inside it. We're subtracting out the purple, the green, and the yellow triangle from it because it's not part of this blue triangle. We wanna know the area of what's inside. All right, good luck finishing this up.